Hi-Rez revealed new teaser for new champion and also old concept for Eevee and possibly more lore. Let's talk about that in today's video. Hello my enemies and friends and welcome to another video. As you all know, hi res released 3 new teasers for new champion. But that's not all they did. They also released Eevee's old concept and also they created a pip lore video with Navakin. But first let's talk about those 3 teasers. Because there are some things that probably doesn't make any sense. But someone has to say that. So let's start with that. So from first two teasers we know that new champion possibly named Koga is a former member of Thousand Hand Guild and he technically betrayed Thousand Hand Guild. So that means he's just like Shaolin. Maybe these two will work together to get Thousand Hand Guild, I don't know, we will see. So the new champion will be fighting against Thousand Hand Guild but that's not all I could find here. First thing I seen is that symbol, which these warriors are using. I couldn't find it anywhere and no, this is not Thousand Hand Guild symbol. Because we seen Thousand Hand Guild symbol in my previous video. But who are those warriors? Well, I looked for that symbol everywhere and only thing that I could discover is that every single champion except bounty hunters or thieves is using some kind of symbol, meaning that they are part of clan or unit or working for Cyan of some kind of house or something like that. That means that these warriors are working for whoever is using that symbol and probably are working under the Thousand Hand Guild. Okay, let's look at that symbol again. That symbol reminds me of fire. And who is using some kind of fire or some kind of fire sword? Hmm, it is Zin, of course. But now I am thinking, how could he create that flaming sword? Well, that's simple. If you look at Zin's cards, you will find out that Zin is actually using dragon oil in order to make his flaming sword. Okay, so maybe these warriors are working for the person that is creating that dragon oil. That's why they have that fire symbol. And maybe this place that Koga destroyed is actually the place where the dragon oil was made. And if dragon oil is not a cheap thing and Zin doesn't want to pay for that, it makes sense, at least in my head, why they betrayed him. Okay, another thing that I found out is actually on the other teaser. And this picture actually shows us Z face. I mean, sorry, not Z face, because that's League of Legends. Koga's face! But except his face, I also recognize another thing, and that's Grand Magister Karn's symbol, which is also used by Ash. That means that Koga was part of Grand Magister Karn's army. So that means if he is enemy of Magistrate right now, that means he knows too much. That's the reason why Magistrate is trying to hunt him. He probably knows Magistrates and Grand Magister Karn secrets and also maybe he knows even more. That's why he's pretty much dangerous for them. If he was also part of Thousand Hand, he might know some secrets from Thousand Hand Guild. So basically Magistrate and Thousand Hand needs to join their forces to find Koga. But if he is enemy of Magistrates and Thousand Hand Guild, will he join Resistance? Probably not. I think he is more like Punisher kind of character. So technically he will not join the Resistance. Last thing that I seen on this picture are his claws. Maybe he will shoot them like arrows 
or maybe he will make them bigger and create a whip from them or something like that. That would be awesome. But we will see later on. Okay, let's move on. So, let's talk about Eevee's old concept. I mean, come on. Look at that. That's awesome. I want to see that as a skin for Eevee. Also, this could be great part of Eevee's lore. This is perfect for skin, perfect for her lore. Something like she was called Mina before, but after she became Winter Witch, she started to call herself Eevee. That would be great part of Eevee's lore. Right now, I actually want to expand Eevee's lore. I want to add this to Eevee's lore. I will actually go to wiki page to add this to her lore. Okay, move on. Hyrus revealed people lore in form of Nevercake's video. Wow, that was really great video and you should definitely check it out. It is great, even though we know Pip's lore, but in this form it is even better. I will probably put it on description. Also, Maldamba will get new ninja skin, which is not new thing since it was determined together with Cassie and Makoa skin. So yeah. Cassie and Mako will have the ninja skins as well. Probably. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's all for this video and I hope you enjoy it. Nope. No, no, no. I'm not going to talk about that. Because that's stupid. And it doesn't make any sense. Fernando is not gay. Okay? Stop. Okay, Hyrus confirmed that Fernando is gay. Okay, that's all for this video and I hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.